Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm super excited for today because I'm taking you guys through um, kind of like a day in the life slash prepping for a quarter two, um, but I figured I would just do kind of the entire day. So right now I just got to the studio. I teach two morning classes on Saturday and then we usually have rehearsals, but rehearsals got canceled for the hurricane. So I'm just going to open up the studio this morning, take down all the mats that are blocking the windows, and then teach. And after my classes, I am gonna go home, probably take a little nap, and then I am going to start getting ready for this quarter, because um, I haven't had a chance to do so yet since we were back on the East Coast um, evacuating for the hurricane. I hope you guys enjoy this week's vlog and it is the next day i've been a little unproductive but that's okay i just kind of took yesterday to relax i didn't feel like getting ready or doing my makeup or anything i kind of just had a me day i literally after i got home from classes and ate like I did. I did print everything I need, but then I ended up just watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians, or no, I watched the Kardashians on Hulu for like five hours. Um, and then Ian and I went to Sprouts, and now it's the next day. So I am going to clean up this mess behind me, and we have a friend joining us, Miss Luna. Luna, look over here. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed and then I'm going to sit down. I also, my fit today, mm, 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 mm. these pants are an extra, extra large male pants from Walmart and they are like the best thing ever. They are so long and baggy and I just have to tie them super tight at the waist and then even still there's like so much room but they're amazing lounge pants. And then I believe this top is from American Eagle. It's just like a cropped, ribbed material, um, but it's super nice, really flattering. So it's got like a scoop neck in the back and that is the fit of the day. So let's go ahead and make the bed. What do you say, Loon? She's loving this right now. Okay, super random, but I wanted to just show you guys these books real quick because they're sitting in my room. This is my to be read pile for October because it's October now. I am posting a September favorites that will be up before this. I deleted all of my social media last night, which was super strange for me to do. I still have the accounts. I just deleted the apps off my phone because I'm taking a little break from social media. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping it gets me back on my reading grind because I kind of fell off last month, but granted it was kind of like the first full month of being back at work full time. And then there was like the hurricane and I thought I was going to read during that, but that ends up just kind of being like chaos. So my to be read pile is we were liars and I was supposed to read these in September. So I have some like mystery Books. My cats are very vocal today. I have another cat, Lefty. He, their brother and sister. Do you hear him meowing? It's like grunting. <laughs> and then Beach Read. I read um, The People We Meet on Vacation and I loved it. So I'm really excited to read this. I was going to read Book Lovers first because I heard this one is better. Like Beach Read is better, but can't wait. Um, All the Missing Girls. This was supposed to be my hurricane read. That didn't happen. Regretting You. This is going to kickstart. I'm going to read this one first because I usually get through Colleen Hoover super quick. And then I also have Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So that is what I will be reading this month. In addition to, if I can find it, that series the murder series, Good Girl's Guide. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder is what I think it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sit and get some work done, be super productive with my homework. 
Um, I'm probably not going to talk that much during it. It's just going to be a little clip of me getting things done, sitting down, writing some dates down in my planner, and just being extremely productive. <laughs> quick I just wanted to pop on and give you guys a little update so I just took a very long study break I got everything done for one of my classes and I have two more classes to go so the way that the structure kind of works is on the fourth day you usually have some things that are due and then um, everything is due for each class completely on the seventh day so it changes with each quarter but i have two more classes that i have the initial thing that i need to get done one is completely out of the way um i also have some guided notes that i'm going to try to get through today for one of my classes maybe two depending on the time like i said i took a really long break uh, i watched an episode of keeping up with the kardashians i had to edit and upload a video so september favorites is now live my cat's chilling back there she's not dead that's just how she lies you guys does she not just look dead crazy and yeah i so random but i really want to get an ipad i know that they're not a necessity it's definitely a want i want a new computer but there's not technically anything wrong with mine. So I have a really hard time like justifying getting a new computer, if that makes sense. Even though like I do kind of need one, I don't really need one. And I want a desktop, but I feel like that's not super functional right now for me. So I'm thinking the best thing is like an iPad. It's a happy medium. I can get the keyboard, get the pencil. So if you have an iPad, I don't know, is it worth it? Like, should I get one? I feel like every video I see on like nursing school, people have iPads and I just- my motivation I'm getting tired it's 5 44 and I am working on one of my discussion posts and it's taking me quite a bit of time I feel like I've been working at it for a hot minute um, and I've only answered one of the questions which scares me a little bit because I feel like the next class I'm gonna work on it's a little bit rough granted I did take some time to go ahead and do all of the like guided notes before I wrote the discussion post so I think I'm gonna just save my notes to do a different day in the other class I feel like this is also very slowly starting to slip um so yeah that's kind of what I'm working on now I'm going to try to wrap this up I've got quite a bit done um right now i'm just doing some research on vitamins and trying to write that what is the second part and then the second part of this is going to be a little bit of a smaller section um it's just about genetics malnutrition and diet so that is what i'm going to work on next and then yeah i'm probably not going to take another break i'm probably going to just jump right into week one of my other stuff and then like i said i'm gonna save 
the worksheets for a different day. Maybe I'll finish one of the worksheets for this class that I'm working on right now. I don't know how I'm gonna kind of organize it all, but that's the vibe. Anyway, I feel like I need some coffee or caffeine, but I don't have any. And I still wanna go out to the gym, but I don't think that that is going to happen. Granted, you never know. Maybe I'll go on a walk tonight. It's been really nice outside and I'm sure my boyfriend would love to join me for a walk. He takes a walk like every day, he loves walks. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a little bit of an update and yeah i think too i'm a little hungry so um that never makes it super easy i'm probably gonna grab a snack here in a little bit and some water and then i'm gonna make dinner later for dinner i'm going to do chicken and rice i've been loving the daring lemon and herb chicken it's a plant-based chicken substitute and I just pop them in the air fryer they fry up super quick which I love and yeah that sounds super good but that's where we're at right now we're getting it done we're getting it done super we're being productive this is what I get for procrastinating but it's okay